Season 3, Episode 4, titled The Antilles Extraction, brings with it more foreshadowing than ever before, as the crew, specifically Sabine, is tasked with extracting a familiar face to the Rebellion. A rebel transport is ambushed on the supply run by an Imperial warship and is lost along with several pilots. The rebels are suffering great losses and they don't need to lose any more pilots. Fulcrum, a codename for informants, lets lose information that cadets at Sky Strike are looking to defect to the Rebellion. Sabine is tasked with this mission, given her background as being an actual Imperial cadet. In a simulation, Sabine meets the very infamous Wedge Antilles, and we now know how Wedge was recruited into the Alliance. Scar scolds Sabine for insubordination after disobeying a direct order. This probably should have raised a huge red flag as later Agent Callus and Price show up unexpectedly to do an investigation on rumored defectors. The instructor vouches for their loyalty even after seeing Sabine struggle with following orders. Sabine catches Wedge speaking to people in a fit of panic about the investigation and confronts him about defecting to the rebellion. This was pretty strange to me as she literally wastes no time in identifying herself, which I thought was a huge mistake, but I have to remind myself that this is a 23 minute episode and they've got to move things along. Ah, young love. Ezra, pacing along, worrying about Sabine. Price orders the cadets to take to the sky in a simulated dogfight and as Ezra and Kanan show up, they find out that their fighters were rigged. Rake is killed in the process and Ezra is forced to withdraw. Price finds out Sabine is the rebel agent and tries to interrogate her for information, but she breaks free of her restraints and engages in fisticuffs with Price. Sabine's training in Clan Ren proves to be too much for Price and she rescues Wedge and Hobby. Upon escaping, they are stopped by Agent Callus, who warns them and helps them find a clean getaway, invoking a debt owed to Zeb as the reason. Ezra comes to the rescue and they jump away just in time, and there you have it, Wedge and Hobby are now pilots for the Rebel Alliance. Now, this episode felt super rushed. I was very interested to finally get an episode that was about Sabine and featured her. In fact, in her session with Price, I was hoping we'd learn more about her history in Clan Ren. This is why I wish this series was played out in hour-long episodes, or if anything, spread this episode out into two episodes like the season premiere. But I digress, it felt like a filler episode where things were just rushed into place and we as the audience were forced to just accept things as they were. Coming out to Wedge and revealing yourself super quick and then coming back and without any vetting process are welcomed into the Alliance? The pacing. It was definitely off. I hope they can recover from this and provide more context in future situations because the season started off strong and this felt like a filler. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Star Wars Rebels action. If you are a subscriber to this channel for Dragon Quest and Bungo Stray Dogs Abridged, I can tell you things are happening. A new episode of Dragon Quest is coming shortly and auditions are complete for the next episode of the Abridged, so stay tuned for all that. Until next time, may the force be with you.